Well, hi everyone. You all voted and you decided that the turtle, the orchid and the heart your favourites of the into resin moulds that I demonstrated to you recently. So we're going to do a little bit of a special video showing you these using the into resin film, which you will have seen already on the back of the heart, but I haven't done it on the turtle yet. And quite what I'm going to do with it with the orchid, I have no idea. I might do something completely different with that. But anyway, let's do a little special video showing you these again. And also watch on. This is part of my 10,000 subscriber giveaway special celebrations into resin will be sending you a surprise mold and that will be going out to me and one winner i don't know what the mold is either you see it's definitely a surprise so i'll tell you later in the video how you can enter and potentially win one of these awesome molds right what i'm going to do is oops get a pen and draw around the heart we're just going to use a sharpie pen this is just so that i can cut the shape out and I uh, need to put my glasses on at this point. Ooh, here we go. Lighting in here is not the best because the sun is out. It's a gorgeous day here in the UK. Which is lovely for most things, but not so good for seeing what you're doing when you're trying to draw onto holographic film. That doesn't look right at all, does it? Not for being hearing us. You don't have to be completely accurate. So I'm just going to cut this out. I was had a little attempt at being sensible and I did already draw the turtle onto a piece of card which was sensible I just drew around it so that's not nice and easy that's all over the place isn't it oh it'll be near enough anyway right let's get cutting these out okay so I had another go at doing the heart it's a bit better this time and not once I made my original I'll do like I did with the turtle and draw around it <laughs> keep myself a master copy now what I'm doing is cutting inside my line because you want it to fit just slightly inside like so now where I've got a little bit of pen where I didn't want it I see there's a little bit of pen there and I wonder why it's will fetch that straight off there we are sorted so there's the heart let's do the turtle and again just going to cut slightly around the inside when I get around it I'm going to scan these into my Cricut machine because I really don't like cutting things out now I know you can get lots of different film. I've got a mass of different holographic films. This one from Interesin I do find particularly good. It's a little bit thicker and easier to easier to handle and cut and to keep flat than uh, many of the other ones I've used before. And I quite like the holographic florists film. That's pretty good stuff. But it's so fine. It's brilliant if you want to crinkle it up. Actually, that's when I find that best. In fact, at some point, I will do some crinkled up in these. That's near enough. <laughs> right, the first thing to do is fill these up with resin. I'm going to fill them about three quarters of the way up. So it's really warm in my craft room today. We are having one of those brief heat waves in England, which has now lasted for four days. I'm surprised. Anyway, <laughs> is it longer? It might be a bit longer than that, actually. I lost track because I've not been well. Right. We're going to wait until these are degassed and then we'll put our pieces in. Now this begs the question, what am I going to do with this orchid? And I think the answer is going to be to put something that's going to be shimmery in it. I'm going to put some of this in it. This is called Imp and it is an ethereal flake rather than a powder. See? And I just think a bit of that in there. In fact, quite a lot of that in there. <laughs> I went a bit mad there. It's from the Tiny Turner, by the way. Um, and you can get that from Toonpish Crafts. I don't know if you can see this. You'll certainly see it while I'm pouring it. I hope I've mixed up enough there. And I hope it won't sink too much. But there's lots of little places where it can if it wants to. You see that sparkling as it goes in? So I'm going to part fill it and give it a good squish. Have any of you used this to paint onto a surface before? Never to actually pour into a mould. So this is a good way to make sure you've let any air out in awkward moulds, by the way. Not just squish it, but bend it backwards like that. If it's a good quality silicon, it should let you bend it in both directions. Now, while I'm finishing this off, let me talk to you about these moulds. They are handmade. Please be patient if you order them. Sometimes they'll have some ready in stock. Other times they won't and they'll have to make them. Now they have an artist that makes their originals for them. 
And yes, of course, those are also handmade, which means if they want to make more originals to make more moulds more quickly from, the artist has to make more of those. Now, they are on the case with doing that, obviously. However, oh, I've got some left. What shall I do with it? However, um, it does, you know, it's, it's still a process. So sometimes you might get your moulds really quickly. Other times it might take just that little bit longer to come. So please be patient with them. We know how long handmade things take to make, don't we? That's, that's why we're all here. So, you know, be patient. And trust me, it's worth the wait. These are very special. Right, let's talk about the giveaway. Okay, you know what I normally do? I'll hit you with a question. And I need you to email the answer to this question. Don't put it in the comments below because that gives everybody the answer and reduces your chance of winning. So email me. My email address will be coming up on the screen right now. And I'll read it out to you as well. It is miniscenesgb at gmail.com. And that question will be, what is the name of one of my other channels? Either is fine. I've got two. Not a lot happens on them. This is my main channel. <laughs> yeah. But what is the name of one of my channels? So email that to miniscenesgb at gmail.com and in the title of your email, please just put giveaway to. Okay. And the reason for that is because I've got three giveaways that will be going on over these coming weeks. One has already is already underway. You may have seen the uh, Just For You Online apex giveaway and then of course after this i will be doing my own giveaway as well of some of my products from my little store so yes if you head it giveaway two so that's easy for me to sort and see who's entered what that would be awesome so the name of one of my other channels both if you feel so inclined it won't make any difference <laughs> to miniscenesgb at gmail.com right Gonna let the bubbles finish dispersing and then we'll get those bits of film in the back of those and as you can see I just chucked that last bit in this pyramid so I want to see if it sinks or not <laughs> and that seemed a good way to do it. Right I'll see you in probably half an hour when these will degassed. I am back and as you can see there's a few little bubbles trapped against the silicon and all you do is you tease them out with something with a soft and rounded end so you don't scratch these moulds. Don't forget they're a little bit delicate because they are handmade, but also any moulds really. You don't want to be going poking around with anything sharp because even cheap moulds are delicate too. But once you scratch them, you've scratched them. There's no going back. Anything you make from it going forward will also be scratched. So this is a micro brush. It's just the job for this sort of thing. So I'm just going to let those bubbles pop their way out and then we'll get a film in the back. Okay, I think they're mostly dispersed now. I'm going to try and do this with some tweezers because I think the little one in particular might be easier. I don't know. These tweezers aren't very good. I need to find my purple ones. They're so much better. Okay, so I'm going to push him down in the middle first. Let's do it with my finger. There we are. I don't want to scratch the mould. Um, and hopefully that will push the resin out, the bubbles out from under it, and the resin will come up on top. Yep, that's looking good. Ooh, see, look, I can stick it to my finger. <laughs> right, we'll do the same with this one. So we're pushing it down from the middle. Work our way out so that the, bubble, the resin comes up on top. And now I'm just going to top it up, actually. I'm just going to go for it. That should stay down, so I'm not too worried. Let's put a little bit of resin on the top and we're done. It's not going to take much resin to do this, so let's just mix up a small pot. And there we go. Just going to make sure that as, yep, the film's all stayed down. I don't mind if it's a bit of a, a raise or a crinkle in it, as long as there's no bubbles trapped under it. That's the only, mind you, if you did, you probably wouldn't see them. And it might add to the effect. <laughs> anyway, there we are. I'm going to see you in a few hours uh, when these have all cured up properly and are ready to demold. They do need to cure very thoroughly, especially this one, because this little guy it will too easily bend if it's not, because it's obviously thin pieces. Right, I'll see you later.
okay time to demold now i know a load of people are going to say why didn't you put black on the back yeah well yeah i normally do but we'd have a chain and look at that now because i pushed the film down into the mold rather than just lie it on flat remember i pushed in the middle and it curled up at the side slightly and made it slightly smaller you've got this weird rainbow effect at the edges isn't that nice i thought that might work and it did yay by the way i didn't tell you what order they here these came in in the results did i of their vote this came in in third place the orchid was in second place and the turtle was in first place let's do the turtle next I'm just putting off doing the orchid because it's a bit more awkward to demold. There we go. Look at that. Ooh. I'm hoping we'll get some sun tomorrow again. It's gone dusk here now, but if we get some sun tomorrow, I'll get some uh, my usual lovely outside the front of the house film done for you. Now this one, um, I hadn't actually tried putting the ethereal flakes into resin in this way before so let's see what's happened normally i just brush it onto the mold in the normal way so let's have a look i have seen wendy from team fish crafts doing things like this with the ethereal flakes though so i thought it might work i just wasn't sure about in a crystal mold like this one and this is going to be a git to get out so um excuse me one moment i'll swear a lot let me get this out so there might be any leaps coming up Oh, you little swine, come on out. You're the one everybody wants to see. Everybody got very excited about this little kid, and so did I. Now, because of the shape, even with this fabulous squishy mould, it is going to be difficult to get out. There's just no two ways about it. It's very clever how they've made this mould. I'm just going to have to give it a good tug in a minute, and and then suddenly it goes. And, oh, it's worked. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Like I said, I really am going to have to get this in the sun tomorrow, aren't I? Fantastic. And let's do the random pyramid. <laughs> now, don't forget, this is all part, oops, part of my uh, special giveaway. Yes, it did sink, but not completely. Look, it must come out rather nice, isn't it? It's a bit of a cluster of it in the bottom. <laughs> So this is part of my 10,000 subscriber giveaway. So don't forget um, what you need to do if you want to be in the prize draw. So send me an email. All the details were earlier in this video. And I have also just been sent a whole load of new moulds by Into Resin. So look out for another video coming soon, which will be an unbagging, because they come in fancy bags, of a whole load of new Into Resin moulds. And I will be testing those out for you too. So if you've liked this video, please do subscribe. The buttons to do so are all down here. You know what it's like. If you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, all that sort of thing. Costs you nothing and I really, really appreciate it. Also, if you'd like to join my channel, I do have some member perks and I really appreciate that additional support. The button for that is also down below. So I look forward to seeing you for the next video, everyone. Hold in there and I will give you those lovely sunshine photos of these just to finish this video off. Take care, everyone. Good luck with the competition and I will see you for the next video. Bye!